benefit concerts, relief concerts, tribute concerts, or charity concerts, whatever you want to call them, they're pretty neat. Probably one of the most iconic relief concerts would be Live Aid back in 1985, featuring legendary performances by Sting, Phil Collins, U2, and of course Queen. These concerts always have an inherently good cause behind them, Live Aid being raising awareness and money for the Ethiopian famine that was going on at the time. And they always usually do a pretty good job achieving whatever they're trying to do. There's been countless benefit concerts since then, with big celebrities and artists to be the spokespeople to talk about whatever problems going on. One of which being the concert for Hurricane Relief, which gave us this iconic clip from Kanye. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Anyways, that's not really what we're here to talk about today. I recently stumbled upon a 9-11 tribute concert put on by Jay-Z. This wasn't in 2001, this was actually in 2009. I never heard about it. I think it was pretty overlooked considering it had really big performances by Kanye West, obviously Jay-Z, Beyonce, Diddy, like John Mayer I think was playing guitar too. It was pretty cool. And this concert was pretty awesome. I mean, it was uplifting, moving, very positive, but something about Beyonce's set was just a little off-putting. And before I get absolutely destroyed in the comments, I really need to make two things clear when saying this. One, I think she's super talented, very gifted, crazy good singer, good good dancer, good personality, so I'm not going to discredit her in that way whatsoever. And two, what you're about to see I don't think is Beyonce's fault, nor do I think she had any malintention. I think this is just a, uh, just a mistake that was overlooked. A kind of a kind of a big one. I think they could have just read the room a little bit better and gave this a little more thought than what they did. Now that they've gotten out of the way, she only performs one song, and it's her song Diva, and that's all she really plays. And this is just a snippet of the performance, but let's just take a look. In case you missed it, the exact lyrics are, take you to another level, no passengers on my plane, and then does the mimicking with her arms for the pretending to be a plane. And then the very next lyrics are, this is a stick up, stick up. And again, these are just the lyrics to the song. It's not like they wrote this for this concert because that would just be fucking horrible. But to me, it's just weird. Of all songs they pick, it's like, wh why the one with these lyrics? And the whole, the dance move is what really throws me off. I'm pretty sure the meaning behind the lyrics is her just having a private jet, you know, obviously you don't have any pass, it's not commercial, there's not gonna be any passengers on there. Would you go off, sis? That's fucking awesome, cool. However, I wouldn't talk about or quite literally pretend to be a plane in front of victims of 9-11. Yes, sis, pop off, go in. You didn't have to snap so hard. And like I said earlier, I really don't think this is her fault. So before the Beyonce fan base militia destroys me, I just want to make that painfully clear. Really, all I'm left with here is just thinking, who the hell let this happen? Like, who saw this and was like, yeah, this is... This is what we need. I guess in theory it'd be Jay-Z's fault because he's the producer of the, sh the concert, but I don't think it fucking matters in the first place. It's just a simple mistake that ended up looking a lot worse than what they had in mind. I'm pretty sure like that the plane move she does is what she does on tour. That's like a very normal thing. So it's not like they were like, yeah, plane theme 9-11 tribute show. It's a good performance. She kills the singing. She's a really good dancer. I mean, it's just the those like 13 seconds that I think were just really strange. The silence during the plane gesture is just tough. I mean, the comments are all pretty much saying the same thing. This makes me scream. Why would she do this? LMAO. Ain't no way this was a setup. I still can't believe this is real. And one person hit us with some wisdom. If you think about it, the only other option would have been single ladies, which could have been just as worse. Ouch. I mean, to be fair, I really think there's a, there's a way that this 13 second snippet didn't have to happen and I thought of a solution so she's already playing a condensed version of the song So why not just skip the verse that talks about a plane and the stick up boom problem solved but Other than that the entire show was really uplifting I mean it starts with Jay-Z playing Empire State of Mind, which is like right on the nose You know, it's very moving. It's kind of unifying that post 9-11 like man We're all in this together kind of vibe. I mean this shit gave me goosebumps when you put it in context for the show It's a beautiful hip-hop performance. I read that it was apparently only $50. I don't know if that's for nosebleeds or whatever, but $50 regardless of where you're sitting, that is well worth your money. I initially found this video on Reddit, and there's people in the comments saying this is some Ill Illuminati shit, which I think is just fucking ridiculous. To be fair, whenever I did learn about the Illuminati, Beyonce and Jay-Z were at the forefront of that shit, so maybe. And the Blueprint 1 did release on September 11, 2001. No, I'm just fucking with you. That's ridiculous. That's really all I have to say about this. I just think this is a really weird thing that happened, and I don't think it's... I'm surprised I didn't see it earlier, it's just pretty weird. Beyonce fanbase, please don't destroy me. If y'all liked this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Comment if you like, and as always, thanks for watching.